this video is the first in a series or 2018 on uh, just looking over certain programs I like and I use regularly now my desktop setup is not like most people's I actually recently switched from XFCE to Fluxbox which I've always loved Fluxbox which is a very lightweight uh, interface and I've actually disabled all the uh, toolbars for all the programs and uh, and the window borders and I have everything automatically go full screen and the way I do this is a program called Maximus which we're gonna look at today and I've currently disabled it but usually it starts on my computer when the desktop starts up so here's an example I'm gonna open up a few programs here like this uh, task manager and agave and um, how about some solitaire and you can see they open up windows and I, as I said I I've removed the title bars from all of them and the window borders and I usually just use the alt left click to drag them around if I need to which is a default on uh, most Linux desktops uh, but let me go ahead and I'm going to alt 4 to close each one I'm going to start up Maximus now and you'll have to install this you can use apt aptitude apt get whatever so it'd be sudo apt install Maximus like so, I already have it installed, so I'm going to start it up. And once you start it up, it will automatically make all windows you have open full screen. And now, anytime you open up a program, they're going to open up full screen. So I'll open up Solitaire, and you can see it goes full screen. I can open up my Task Manager, and it goes full screen. And I can open up, uh, what was, uh, Solitaire, right? Or Solitaire, I already have open. Uh, Agave. And that opens up full screen. So I like, I like everything full screen. But then sometimes, you know, I don't want to look at their everything full screen necessarily. Some programs look funny full screen. So, for example, let's say I didn't want this full screen. I have keys set up for myself, so I can hit uh, Shift in the Windows key and up, and it unmaximizes if I hit it again. So I can unmaximize that, and I can move it to another window. So, like if I do this, it's now on my uh, other display here. So I can just do Alt and Windows left to right. So that's just my kind of setup. But I have everything go full screen by default because for the most part, I have two screens. I'm not going to be looking at two programs more than once, but occasionally you do. So I have keys set up to uh, tile everything. And yeah, I probably should use a window manager such as uh, Awesome, which is tiling window manager, which I really, really want to get into one of these days. I just didn't really have time. To, I, I want to say I didn't have time to learn it, but I spent a lot of time setting up Fluxbox like this so that I can uh, move around like this. But I, the main point of this video today was to tell you about this Maximus program. If you were unfamiliar with it, it makes most programs open up full screen. Every once in a while you get a, a program that doesn't want to open up full screen. I think usually it's like a Java program that isn't using standard uh, interfaces. Uh, so that's it, the Maximus command. So once you install it, once it's running, so you can add to your startup applications, every program you run runs full screen. This comes in very useful, uh, you know, if you're running this on some sort of tablet, like maybe you have um, a Raspberry Pi with a small screen or you have some sort of tablets running Xorg on it and you know small screens you kinda want everything full screen just like if you're working on an Android device or something most of the time not all the time but most of the time you want things to go full screen that's what Maximus is for install it start it up and you're good to go uh, thanks for watching I hope you find this program useful I hope you find this video useful please visit filmsbychris.com that's Chris with the K there's a link in the description that's my website in there you can search through all my videos from both my channels and also go to the sports section where you can support me which I really do appreciate you can support me through PayPal or you can support me through patreon patreon.com forward slash metal x1000 there's also a link to that in the description of the video really appreciate it. even a dollar a month uh, you know enough of you that would be awesome so I thank you for watching, and as always, I hope that you have a great day.